Sammy? Sammy? Hey, what's up? You can't make a snowflake? <laughs> oh, Sue. I lost my holiday vibe. Look at all this snow. Come, let's throw snowballs. Remember how we made wonder snow? Yeah, that was fun. Ugh, they won't work. I like something magically magic. Hmm. A Christmas miracle. You go relax for now, Sammy. I think I found a way to get your Christmas vibe back. <laughs> Join me, guys. Hmm, I doubt anything can help. Hey, guys. Today we're going to work a Christmas miracle here. Do you like gingerbread? What about gingerbread crafts? Today we're going to make a gingerbread house. Did someone say gingerbread? I'm here, thanks. I'll get back to looking for my Christmas vibe. The dough shouldn't be too thick or too thin, so I'll use these sticks to control the thickness. I hope it'll help Sam get his Christmas mood back. Guys, what comes to your mind when you think of Christmas? Write in the comments. Maybe it's your advice that will help Sammy feel better. We'll carefully cut the stencil here. Be careful with sharp objects. Our first part is ready! We can remove the extra dough now. Don't get me! Don't get me! I'm here! Mm, Sammy, are you feeling well? We aren't expecting any visitors. Nah, I'm calling for my Christmas vibes. I even dressed up like a Christmas tree, but my vibes still ain't coming! Sammy, maybe you need to switch your activity. And you can help me with cooking here. What do you say? Feel better now. You are right, Sue. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. Try to just go with the flow and let the miracle happen. While our dough is baking, would you like to have some hot cocoa? I love it. Keeps you warm in the winter. Ah, cocoa. Sue, you do know how to cheer me up. Guys, do you like cocoa? Make some for yourselves and stay tuned. Mmm, smells divine. Holy cannoli, I think I can hear Christmas bells ringing. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> I think someone's level of holiday mood's gone up. Yes, let's keep going too. Making a gingerbread house does help. I'm all for it. Let's decorate our house with frosting. We'll draw the outlines of the house with thick frosting. It sets quickly. And we'll cover the house's surface with thin frosting. The outline that's already set won't let our frosting spill. It reminds me of a coloring book. I always start with the outlines in them too, and then color the middle. What about you guys? After you color your house with frosting, leave the frosting out a bit to set. Then you can draw bricks. Look how easy it is. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, 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 Guys, write your favorite Christmas song in the comments. A couple more touches of thick frosting. Let's draw the outline here slowly. Step one. And step two. And done! Sammy, could you paint the inside? Of course I will! It's my favorite part! Our house should have a solid roof. We'll use these jelly stripes to make roof tiles. We'll cut them into small rectangles. And then we'll carefully put them on the part covered with white frosting. Oh well, I think a sly little sweet tooth guy is around here somewhere. 
<laughs> I didn't eat that jelly. Looked into my honest eyes. <sighs> I need to cut more jelly stripes. I'll be right back, guys. And we'll keep going. Phew, we're done with the roof. I like the way it looks. Let's start making edible decorations. A gilded doorknob. We haven't done the most important thing yet! Are you talking about the tree? We can't do without a Christmas tree. I mean, can anyone? That Christmas wreath at the entrance is a must do on our Christmas checklist. Right! I almost forgot about it. Sammy, you feel the Christmas spirit better than me already. Oh, looks like the real thing! Now we can start assembling the house. We're gonna put all the gingerbread parts together now. First, go the walls. Bit of frosting to hold them together. Oh. Oh, I hope I won't break them. Ah, great. It's pretty solid. As for the roof, it looks like it got blown away. Let's add a lot of frosting on the upper edge to make sure it holds. Whoosh! A flying roof is about to land! Oh, 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 the landing went well! It looks like Santa visited our place. Isn't it too early for that? Christmas comes early for slimes. Mm. Presents come early, too. <laughs> Judging by your tone, Sammy, you've got something on your mind. You want to share? Nah, it's a surprise. <laughs> You're so secretive. In the meantime, our house got covered in snow. We'll throw some wood in here to keep its owners warm. And a whole lot of sweet frosting snow on top. <laughs> hey, how do slime claws get into the house? We need a chimney! Oops, just a sec. We'll fix it. Oh, oh, oh. Could you thought to the Christmas spirit, Susan? Everything should be picture perfect. Guys, did you get great presents this year? If so, hit the like button under this video. What kind of Christmas is that without Christmas trees, huh? Or without a snowman? Shall we add a little more snow? Why a little? I can add a whole lot more. Merry Christmas! Hmm, now that's a miracle. <laughs> hmm? Who could that be? Wonder who it's from. Dear Sue and Sam, let's celebrate Christmas together. I'll make the best cocoa ever. XOXO R. <laughs> Mysterious R. Who could that be, guys? Do you know? Ahem, <clears throat> Sue, so, I've got a surprise for you. Really? Is it the promised present from Slime Claws? <laughs> Thank you for helping me get my Christmas vibe back. I'd like to give you... this. Oh, my Sammy. It's so sweet of you. <gasps> you made it all yourself? Wow. Christmas is no Christmas without you. You don't have to thank me, you know. I'm just glad we got each other. Oh, go on now. <laughs> me too. <laughs> By the way, while I was dragging the house, I heard something about a card. Come on, show it to me! I'll just tell you what's in it. Guys, see you in the next video! Bye now, guys! Oh, come on! Show me! Who's it from? Why are you blushing? Susan! Weird. I didn't order anything. Sue, it was me! That's mine! What's inside? Christmas outfits for... What? Wow! These were supposed to be Christmas outfits for Barbies! What do you mean, you mixed orders? So what if it's a free holiday period and you're busy? 
lots of balloons. What will I tell the girls? I let them down. Actually, we can fix everything. Come on. Hi, guys. Today I'm going to help Sammy make Barbie dresses for Christmas. Sue, I brought different fabrics. I couldn't choose just one. Why do we need fabrics when we have the balloons they sent you by mistake? Ladies and gentlemen, give a thumbs up for no sew and no glue dresses. That's right. First, we'll cut off the tip of the red balloon. And then we'll get rid of its bottom part like this. Guys, be very careful with the scissors. It's not a toy. Don't be shy to ask an adult to help you. Wow. La, 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 Sue, that dress came out so stylish. It's awesome. You think we're done here? We're just getting started. Let's add more Christmas details to that dress. We need to make a white strip like this. Interesting. You know, that reminds me of something. I just can't figure out what it is. It's on the tip of my tongue. Look closely. You still have some time to guess. Now let's make this tiny but very important detail. There. And with a slight movement of hand, it turns out to be a stylish black belt. I know! This dress looks absolutely like those gorgeous dresses from Mean Girls! You're absolutely right, Sammy. And here is a perfect silver buckle. But there is a catch. I promised our Barbies they get unique dresses. We can easily fix this. Let's spice things up with a bright boa. It was here. I remember it was. Come on, where is it? That's strange. Did you lose something again, Sue? Thanks for finding it, Sammy. But I think it suits our Barbie better than you. What do you think, guys? Give us a thumbs up if you agree. There's no outfit without posh shoes. That's exactly what we need. Let's put them on. Oh. The style icon's advice is worth his weight in gold. And thank you very much, Mr. Extraordinary Taste. The dress turned out wonderful. You can tell it's made by a very gifted fashion designer. Oh, Sammy, you're making me blush. <laughs> Guys, I bet you want to check out our first outfit properly before we move on to the next one. Sue! You started without me! It's unacceptable! <laughs> Something wrong, Sammy? Don't you trust me in matters of style? I do! How could you say that? But everything should be done under my strict supervision, you know? Okay, go ahead. Evaluate my work. Hmm. Alrighty. Ahem. <clears throat> well... I officially declare that this is an absolutely wonderful, amazing, super cool dress! Is it just me, or is there a but? But it doesn't look like a Christmas dress. It's more like a pretty outfit. Don't worry, Sammy. Everything is thought through. Check this out. That idea is 100% amazing. I know, right? And I suggest completing this look with these great shoes. I agree. Awesome! For the third look, we need red and green balloons and scissors. Let's start with the red one. First step, cut off the tip. Then we'll fold it in half and make a little cut here. This way, we get a wonderful top. Sue, what's that? You were supposed to make something fabulous, not just the top. Sammy, as a future designer, I should say that it's very old-fashioned to think that girls should wear only dresses at Christmas parties. And today, I'm going to prove that. Let me just make another cut. Ugh, that's a tough one. What are you doing there, Sammy? I've devised a formula of a perfect party outfit. 
If your experiment meets all the criteria, I'll accept it. Deal. <laughs> now let's fold half of this white balloon and make one more cut. Remember to be super careful, all right? Just like this. And one more time. Here we go. Perfect. It's not done yet, but no one can deny that it'll look very elegant. Nice collar. Check. By the way, as you can see, Sammy, I made the outfit to fit her body. So... I can take a hand to... For a special occasion, you don't only have to wear a dress. Try whatever you want. Trousers or even shorts. And how do you like these boots, Sammy? It's a score! So guys, what do you think? If you approve of our experiment, give us a thumbs up! We'll start the new dress just like we did many times before. Guys, we've already made some dresses out of balloons. And you know where to find those videos! On our channel, of course. If you haven't seen them, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything anymore. I don't get it! Why did you make those strips? Oh, that's actually really simple. They will serve as straps. You'll see later. And the rest will make a dress itself, right? Exactly. Now let's add some style. It's gonna be a fur trim. I think it's a great decision for a Christmas party dress. Sue, I've been thinking, maybe I also need to dress up somehow? That hat is... interesting. Do you have something more, you know, classic? I think something black tie will do. I have a black tie! Check it out! Black tie is not an item of clothing. <laughs> it's a type of dress code. White tie stands for the most formal type, while black tie is less formal. The main rule is not to wear very bright shades. Well, is it good now? You always look perfect, Sammy, but now even more. And our doll needs some shoes, right? Susie, that dress is my favorite. What do you say, guys? This is going to be our last outfit for today, guys. It will be very interesting and not so simple. Let's take a green balloon. Watch me do it, guys. Of course, it's not going to be that difficult if you follow me and do everything neatly and carefully. Like this. Phew! What will it me? be? Don't distract me. Where did I stop? Oh, right. Now we need to fold our balloon like this. Guys, don't worry. If you make a mistake, you can just take another balloon and start over again. But it's better when things work out on the first try. And this is what you should get. Looks like a funny monster face, as if it's screaming like, ah! Sam, please stop making such a noise. I need to concentrate. Here we go. Let's try it on. How do you like it? She looks like a little red riding hood, only in a green tank top. We'll make the rest of the dress from a different balloon. Sue, what about choosing the right shoes? But I'm not finished yet. Guys, sometimes he gets carried away. If you ask me, I say this will go great with that dress. But Sammy, this is going to be a Christmas party, so it takes place in the winter. But it's so bright outside! I've read everything about snow and it reflects light, you know? Okay, but I don't think glasses fit the style. Do you have another idea for accessories? Hmm, I don't know. Can we make a ribbon from this balloon? Great! Thanks, Sammy. And that's all we're gonna need. But don't forget to measure the length first. Perfect. You're doing it wrong! You wear a ribbon on your head, not on your hands! You gave me an idea with this balloon. It's perfect for making longer sleeves. It's hard to admit, but your idea is cooler than mine. Guys, check this out. We cut little holes for her thumbs here. I'm looking at the dress and I literally can hear it calling for some decorations. And I can make some! Bibbidi-bobbidi-subscribbidi! 
What do you think, Sue? Love it, as well as these shoes. Now you're talking! And we're almost done. Is everybody ready? It's party time! Thanks to you, Sammy. To us, Sue. Guys, if you liked our dresses, give us a thumbs up. Hit the bell button so you don't miss our next videos. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ladies, do you want to dance? It's kind of boring standing still. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
If it shifts by even one centimeter, it won't look nice. Come on, we can do it! There, done! Awesome! Should we glue the back wall now? Sure, but before that, we're going to do one thing. Oh, let's fill the holes with fir tree needles so the calendar even smells like a fir tree. <laughs> nice idea, Sam, but I'm sure you'd like mine more. All right, what now? I remember you wanted little presents for every day. Wow! <laughs> so I can't eat all these things now! <gasps> of course not. We're gonna divide them between each roll. Oh, I was already preparing for the sweetest tea party ever. Let's take care and not eat everything at once. Hey, you missed that one. Right, let's put a lollipop there. And bring me the knife for this roll, please. Here, I can eat it. Look, we're gonna make a little cut here. So you can steal that candy out of turn? <laughs> no, here's why I need it. Wow, she what a beautiful ribbon. Yep, I twisted it in a knot like this. Wow, it's almost a sailor's knot. Almost. Now we can attach the second wall. Okay, Sam, bring your special Christmas stickers. I'm ready to sacrifice anything for the common cause. Great, cut each of them out, please, and bring them back here. We'll be done, General of the Handicraft Unit. Meanwhile, I'll glue the second wall. All right, guys, I attached the second wall. The base is ready. It's time to transform the tree into a calendar. <gasps> Sam, you're just in time. Yes, Sue, I've cut the stickers. Here. Let's attach our stickers with dates. So, it's a calendar and a sweets container at the same time. Right, Sammy. Every day, we can open a new compartment with an actual date. Well, Sue, now we need some of your magic. No way around it. Oh, beautiful. Now it'll be easier to wait for Christmas, Sam. By the way, there are dates that passed already. We should mark it somehow. <laughs> I get what you're implying, Sam. Let's go have some tea. Hooray! Christmas tea party! Well, Sammy, help yourself. We've worked really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a moment, Sue. Let's look at the calendar one more time. All right, we can start. Well, well, I'll pick this one. <gasps> Hooray! And I want this one. Just don't overeat sweet, Sammy. <laughs> oh, it smells delicious. Guys, it's a pity that we can't share with you, or can we? We can, if you guys will make this wonderful calendar yourself. And subscribe to our channel! Woo! Right, something interesting is coming very soon. But don't forget to hit the bell. Bye-bye! Want some fresh juice, Sammy? Oh, yummy. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. Uh, I kinda also wanted some. Okay. <gasps> what? Elsa, how did you get here? Although I do have a couple of versions. So, I think Elsa's trying to say that we should make a new house for her. Well, it's impossible to say no to Elsa. Come on! Hey guys, today we're going to make a huge magical house. Yep, house has been wanting one for a long time. First of all, we need to make a good base for our multi-story house. Don't worry, darling. So meant for your house. Oops. <laughs> Sam's right. This wall goes here. I just wanted to say that we'll start with the most important part of any house. Huh. I thought that the kitchen's the most important part. Um, didn't you want to say the refrigerator? What are you hitting at? 
at your appetite, mister. <laughs> huh, I have the perfect slime appetite. If you say so. Huh, these windows look different. Anyway, besides the kitchen, the roof is also a very important part of any house. Uh, what could we call a roofless house? Uh, convertible? I don't think there are any houses like that, Sam. <laughs> yeah, it would kind of be senseless having a roofless house. Even for Elsa, who loves it when it's snowy all around. But we'll have these wonderful windows on the roof. Elsa can watch the stars in the night sky. Hello. Is it okay that we have a giant hole in our house? That's not a hole. It's a special place for... For what? For what? Hmm. I won't tell you just yet. It's a surprise. Oh, I hope it'll be something cool. Of course. Just as cool as our Elsa is. Wow, then it's gotta be something magical. Guys, these sparkly stairs will connect the first and second floor. But safety comes first. Check out this banister I've just made. You're right, but it should be beautiful as well. Oh, they're so sparkly. Of course, it's a magical house. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like it so far. And don't forget to hit the bell button. Ew, don't you think this house is too big for just Elsa? What, do you want to move in with her, Sammy? <laughs> No, I'd rather just come visit her. <laughs> Why are you so nervous? Because you can't get what I'm talking about. It means she'll feel lonely in all this space. Hmm. I don't know, Sammy. Some people never get lonely with just themselves. I'm definitely not one of them. <laughs> yeah, you're totally the soul of any company, Sammy. <laughs> Okay, I better go ask Elsa's opinion. Be right back. In the meantime, we'll finish with the windows. Hop. Check out our transformer house, guys. Wow, Sue, I didn't know you could do that. Yep, we can close it like this whenever we want. It depends on your mood. Cool, but uh, right now my mood is to keep it open. <laughs> As you wish. I made this toy as a present for Elsa. I heard that elfin statues bring harmony to the house. Whoa, it's so pretty and cute. So we need to furnish this house immediately. Don't worry, Sammy. I got this. We'll start with the bathroom. I doubt that with her love to frost, she'll never need a hot tub. Besides, it doesn't look... Elsa style. All right, I'll go ask Elsa what color she prefers. The tub should be white inside anyway. Right, guys? And from the outside, it could be sparkly. Let's use some magic and... Pop! Wow, I like this color. So, look what I made. What a sweet rocking chair. It will look great right here. And, uh, where should we put this extremely important thing for any house? <laughs> um, hold it. Let's decorate it first. It's better if it matches the tub. So, how do you know Elsa's tastes so well? <laughs> I'm just doing whatever I would like to have at my house. Oh, maybe you're also a winter fairy then? Winter or not, I do know a couple of tricks. For example, how to create a perfect bathroom for Elsa. There you go, Sue. Elsa could enjoy the sunset sitting on this chair. Oh, that's right. This balcony is perfect for that. Guys, have you already subscribed to our channel? There's plenty of interesting craft ideas. As well as many interesting decor ideas. <laughs> Elsa shouldn't be starving. Let's make her a cool kitchen right now. I wonder what she likes to eat. I gotta find that out. I bet she and I have a lot in common. All right, Sammy. Ew, Elsa loves chocolate just like me! Woohoo! <laughs> Who doesn't like chocolate, Sammy? We'll put this beautiful chair right here. Oh, Elsa, you're gonna love this house. Guys, we're decorating our house in a winter style. That means all the furniture should be in cold colors. You know what kind of colors those are? Um, things like blue, violet, and green. 
always got a problem. This way Elsa won't fit in the house, but no worries. <laughs> That's better. Wow, Sammy, so you and Elsa do have something in common. Magic. Now we can make a perfect bed for her. Hop. This way she'll be extremely comfortable. <laughs> Elsa also likes to sing. Her voice makes all the bells ring. <laughs> Sammy, is singing also something that you and Elsa share? Yep, she sings like a bird. And so do I. Here, take this purple cabinet. Let's put it right here. And this is a tiny bassinet. I didn't know Elsa had a baby. Oh, well, she might have a baby someday. Oh, and I'll feel so cozy in this room. Hey, Sue, what was the surprise you told me about? Ta-da! Oh, it's a car! Do you like it? Yeah, it's awesome. And the garage is just perfect. I wonder if Elsa needs a personal driver. Oh, please, Elsa, tell me that you won't choose Sam to be your driver. Oh, I love our furniture so much. Here goes one more drawer. No, working as a driver for Elsa is not for me. All the snow and drifts, I'd rather craft. Elsa can store cosmetics in this dressing table, so it's better to be standing where she'll do her makeup. Whoosh. Huh? Huh. And here's the wardrobe. Too. Elsa said she has a lot of outfits. So this is great. Look how I handle this cart. Ooh, how cool, Sam. Well, now this room is furnished. We haven't finished the kitchen yet. Here comes the sink. A little decor can make any furniture beautiful. Wow, so it looks like a winter fairy tale. Stop everything here so magical, I can feel Elsa's happy. And we can also personalize it. Hop looks perfect. I'll go and see if there's still something left that we forgot. Well, of course, Elsa's books. She reads so much. Thank you. Let's put them right here. And more books. She must have a whole library. <laughs> Let's put this one over here. And a pretty little rug. It's so soft. Here comes Elsa's favorite fragrance. Mmm, smells refreshing. <laughs> but not as refreshing as the no. <laughs> oh, don't get cold, Sammy. <laughs> and what is your favorite fragrance, guys? I love watermelon. It makes me feel warm, even during cold winter evenings. And I like the smell of pizza. Well, everyone knows that. There you go. Last but not least, the Christmas tree! We'll put it right here. What a perfect atmosphere. Don't forget about the present! You're right, Sammy! There you go! The drapes! We forgot the drapes! Oh, right! Yeah. What would I do without you, Sammy? Okay, guys, we're done! Come on and check out this magical house for a Disney Queen Elsa! All the best. Sammy, we're not done yet. Oh, come on. Let's find out Elsa's opinion about her new house. Thank you, Elsa. I like that you loved your new beautiful house. And now I can finally enjoy my fresh juice. <laughs> Elsa said that water is better for your health. Um, no problem. I'll drink juice and water. But I'm sure that water will be better for you. <sighs> Sammy, how was the craft, guys? 
I hope you enjoyed it. Happy New Year! All right. See you in 2021. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you a mortal trick. Right now, in front of your eyes, I'll saw my beautiful assistant. I hope your assistant agreed to that. I'll say she didn't object it. Two, don't interrupt my show, please. Okay. One, two, three, let's go. <gasps> Oopsie, something went wrong. All right, Mr. Magician, what can you say in your defense? Well, the, the trick is a bit raw. Can, can we do something? She can't stay like that. Well, we can't do anything about her legs, but this part actually can be useful. Sue, please help me. Okay, let's try. I'm coming. Sammy, your doll wants revenge. No way! I won't give up easily. Ah! <laughs> Are you not afraid of this doll as well? <laughs> ah! oh, what is it? Actually, the doll didn't want to attack you. I was just trying to joke. I'm back. I have some help. Really? Ooh, the doll can do this. I didn't agree on that. I will find a way. I'll prove I'm the boss here. Sammy got carried away. The unsuccessful trick was the reason. I found someone who can stand against this doll. It was a joke, but your guardian can really help me. Oh, my feta. Everything is going around today. All done, Sue. Thanks, guardian. You're welcome. My pleasure. And you're coming with me. Ah, help! I, I don't wanna. I wonder what they're doing there while I'm making the base of our craft. She has to be sturdy and stand still. Hmm, looks good. Sue, is the coast clear? Can I come in? Ah! What were you doing? I won't say. It's a secret. I'd better add something to the craft. <laughs> Much better. Now it looks more voluminous. I like that approach. Sue, it's time to prime our craft. Its parts look so different now. Agree. And I have this. Functional and soft sponge. It will help us make the surface even and smooth. Okay, let it dry now. And I will make a wing for our angel. Why didn't you tell me that we're making an angel? <laughs> wow, that's really something. It will be the Christmas angel. I need help. Something went wrong with the wing. I will fix it. And you better think about the openings. It's easy. I have a special tool for that. Up. And you should ask an adult to help. I just finished with the second wing. Time to put them in place. Now our angel will get the wings and be able to fly. Maybe we better keep it. I like it so much. Maybe it will stay here with us. The angel needs an outfit! Ah! Great! I will work on it now. There we go. I have a special recipe for the fixing mixture. Then bring everything we need and I'll have some rest. Be right back! Friends, don't go anywhere! Sammy has found everything, so now we can make the mixture. First, we'll add enough glue into this bowl. And then we'll add... Water! Fireman Sam will take care of that! Wow, so cool. And now I will mix it really well. While the mixture is still fresh, we need to apply it to the top. Sue, but just the top is not enough. We need more fabric. Sammy, what have you done? But actually, that helped. Our angel needs beautiful sleeves with gentle creases. Sue, look at me. I have a hint for you. Did you get it? Sure. You want to show that our angel needs a collar. Am I right? And I also invited an experienced consultant to help with the outfit. Okay. Let's see. Uh-huh. Don't say anything. I got it. We need some lace. Take it, Sue. Okay, I got it. You two will take care of the outfit. You can't imagine how hard it is to find the best option. I agree with Sam. We need a long rest now. Whoa, <laughs> seems like I will have rest some other time. <laughs> well, experts, what do you say if we attach this to the wings? It's absolutely necessary. Look how beautiful I am with the wings. Oh, that's right. 
You'll be a reference for our Christmas angel. My pleasure. Ah! Ooh, that's a good job. Ah! Sammy, no panicking. I will finish here and then I'll save you. Wow. They put me here like an actual angel. Keep calm. You really looked like an angel. We need to hide me quickly. I don't want to sit in a tree. Is anybody looking for me? I didn't see anyone, but your look gave me a good idea. With this cone, the skirt will be fluffier. Sam, did you call me? I'm here to help. Look at our angel and tell us what you think about the outfit. Oh, let me see. Oh, the work is not done yet. You really have to speed up. Do speed up, please. I'm cold. Even in this cave. Oh, cool. It will be a great addition to our craft. The cape. Beauty. I guess our toys are celebrating Christmas. <laughs> For those who like to have fun, every day can be festive. Our cape is almost ready. Where's our fashion expert? What? I just wanted to help with the hairdo. Sam asked me to do that. I asked just for your advice. We can make it with Sue without you. I should say, your expert was really helpful. I will finish her work and give our angel pretty locks. Sammy, are you sure Sue can do everything right? Totally! Sue can deal with the most complicated craft. And now I'll make a complicated hairdo from cotton and glue. Now the doll should get dry. Stay tuned, dear friends. We prepared everything for painting. Your turn, Sue. Oh, you left painting to me. Thanks for this honor. Hey, don't make everything white. We need bright golden details. Aha, uh -huh, like this. Here we go. Excuse me, I need this. I know that the angel's hair will shine like gold. But what about the cape? Which color should I choose? Golden is better. The pink one is kind of pale. Okay. I trust your designer taste. You are never wrong about such things. Hey, don't be like that. Let's help Sue with the decor. Go. Thanks, this is just what I needed. <laughs> oh, can rest now. I'll join you later. Hmm, well, well. Who else could have helped you? I don't know. Maybe you could? What do you say about it? <gasps> Let me see those. So beautiful. Ha! Shoot! Bless you, Sammy. And thanks for attaching these pieces. And here's the tiara. Great. The face is kind of pale. Let's add some color. Great idea. We'll do that now. And you check if we have something else to do. I found this. I guess our angel needs that. Right, a bell. There is no Christmas without it. I thought it was lost. Sammy, did you take it? It was ringing so cool, so I kind of borrowed it just for a sec. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. <laughs> Let's make the wings shine bright. Now our craft is ready. What do you think? Have a look. This is just wonderful. Oh. We made a stunning angel. Let's have a closer look at it.
Sammy, is your performance still going on? What if your trick doesn't work again? What will you do? I'm sure about this one! Put the angel here! My assistant should fear nothing! Ha-ha! No way! I won't let you saw it! Hey, friends, give a thumbs up if you agree with me! So it was a joke! I need my assistant! Oh, bye, everyone! See you very soon! Siren wailing for at 6 a.m. Sue, so, she's not answering me! Well, then our neighbors will respond soon. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, help me! First, tell me who you're calling so stubbornly. I'm looking for that mysterious voice calling out in Frozen 2. <laughs> I'm calling, but nobody will answer me! Hmm, that's not an easy task. Why do you need it? It may lead me to Elsa's home. I'm her biggest fan. <laughs> sure you are. Well, the mysterious spirit isn't available now, so let's visit Elsa by ourselves. Can we do that? Maybe. I have an idea. Last talk, more action. You'll tell me on the way. Ah. Hi, guys. Are you ready to follow us into the unknown? Uh, is she here? Oh, I thought it was Elsa. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Sammy, but first let's build a house for her. And then she'll appear by herself, right? Exactly. We've crafted houses for Elsa before, and this time we're gonna create something absolutely new. <gasps> Check out this dreamy design! Sam chose the textures by himself. And here's the first piece of the furniture! Sue, your turn! Hey, Sammy, why did you decide to start with the least obvious furniture? Why not? I think it's the most important thing in my bedroom! <laughs> Careful, Susan! Well, Elsa really needs this. She has lots of fascinating outfits, especially in the second movie. Oh, I fell in love with her white dress in the end. Guys, do you agree? Then give us a thumbs up! Yeah, Elsa's outfit as the fifth spirit is pretty amazing. But for me, nothing beats her iconic blue dress from the first Frozen movie. <laughs> Guys, do you know what we're making right now? It's a wardrobe for a Disney queen! Even if you weren't able to guess it, Sammy already spoiled everything anyway. <laughs> it's a big wardrobe, though. Aw, oh, so many dresses can fit here. I'm jealous. So you just need to ask and I'll make a perfect wardrobe for you too. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Can I add some design ideas to this piece? You're welcome, Sue. I trust your taste. <laughs> yeah, our taste and design are the same. Well, almost. <laughs> but this time we match perfectly. The front side looks awesome. And we finished the wardrobe with the lid. Otherwise, someone could steal Elsa's outfits. <laughs> <laughs> a bird? Oh, I know! A fire spirit! Yeah, he was very curious and mischievous in the movie. And this is the base for Elsa's workplace. Queens have lots of tasks to do. Oh, and I thought being a queen was so much fun! Truth hurts, though. Crafting is not that easy either, but you love it. You're too hard on yourself. Oh, and what is hiding in here? Hey, I haven't seen anything yet! <laughs> Elsa should be able to have secrets, too. Check out these fancy table legs. One and two. <laughs> Let's place it inside the house. I think it looks best here. And this will be a shelf for some clean stuff. <laughs> oh, I hope she like it. A hundred percent she will. Guys, try to guess what we're going to place here. Holy cannoli! There will be one more shelf! <laughs> Actually, we made so much stuff that everything doesn't fit onto one shelf. Elsa likes reading books, so I made half a desk lamp for her. And I made another half. Let's put them together. I'm pretty sure the mysterious spirit will connect with me this time. I hope so. By the way, the lamp looks gorgeous. Now this workplace looks more comfy, right? <laughs> and it's time to bring everything we've prepared. It's my time to shine. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, so much attention to detail, Sammy. Guys, you can put this video on pause to have a better look. Let it go! Let it go! Turn away and slam the door! <sighs> Guys, bear with me a bit more and you'll see how to make more decor! Hmm, Sammy just gave me this and ran away. What should I do with it? Such a mystery. Susan, when you wake up, you should bring me a cookie box. Oh, yeah. That's what I need right now. Perfect timing, Sammy. Hey, that's not fair. I tried so hard. 
hard to hypnotize you! You did something even better. We can make a comfortable chair for Elsa. Ah, that's not a bad idea. Being the fifth spirit is a pretty hard job. But she has spirits of the enchanted forest. They help her. Mom, oh no! Earth giants will completely destroy the house! Let's take everything we can too! <laughs> Don't worry, Sammy. Earth giants won't be able to fit into this tiny house. And this is our comfy chair. I hope our Snow Queen likes modern designs. <laughs> She definitely does. Elsa is really open-minded. And Anna, too. Don't forget about our new queen of Arendelle. We'll make a perfect sofa for two sisters to sit on and talk to each other. Oh, I'd like to see their family reunion so bad. <laughs> Aw, you're so soft, Sammy. We all want this to happen. Right, guys? Now I feel much better. We should make this house suitable for family parties. Check this out. The sofa is becoming more and more fancy. Ugh, I'm gonna fall right here if you don't pick this thing up! Ugh. Ah, thanks. <laughs> Sammy, we all know that you can hold big weights and not get tired. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to take this cookie. <laughs> Elsa may want time to relax too. Meet friends and just party together. Woo! <laughs> pa pow, 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 shake it, shake it, move your body. Slimy and slick, I'm feeling so shitty. <laughs> it seems like I just figured out who's gonna be a DJ at the queen's parties. Oh, I can do that. Pow, chicky, pow, chicky, pow, pow, pow. Like this. Yay, your beat is a bop. Elsa will appreciate that. <gasps> Guys, check out this table. What do you think we should put here, hmm? Here's the prop for the party. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> and this is another one. Now we can invite guests. Thanks, Sammy. But what if more people show up? Don't worry, Sue. We'll have enough room for everyone. Nice design, Sammy. Everything here matches Elsa's style. Table, move. One more chair should fit in. <sighs> the chair is coming. Bam. Oh, it looks awesome. Sue, do you know what's missing here? The second floor. <laughs> oh, really? Then we should fix it right now. Hey, careful, Susan. I'm not a prop. Sorry, my bad. What do you think should be on the second floor, by the way? Hmm? I have one idea and it's perfect! Hey, wait for me! Guys, who's your favorite character in Frozen besides Elsa? Mine is Olaf. He actually reminds me of Sammy a little bit. <laughs> huh? Did someone call for me? <laughs> I have just told our viewers about my favorite characters from Frozen. Uh, first, they're all the best. And second, Elsa will hardly be able to jump that high to get to the second floor. You came too early. I haven't finished the stairs yet. Oh, it's like when Elsa made the stairs using her magic. So cool! Yeah, I appreciate her style too. Um, what's this fur on you? <laughs> oh, I was testing some new furniture for the house and haven't finished yet. Bye! He's so secretive sometimes. <laughs> Guys, let's add some magic here. Shh, I just don't want to ruin the surprise, Sue! But it's high time for surprises. The floor is still so empty. Okay, let's start with this piece. Sue, it's for you. Ah, I see what you made here. Elsa really needs a cozy bedroom. Aw, oh, it looks so soft and warm. Oh, I'm drifting off to sleep. <laughs> no, no, sleeping beauty. Elsa shouldn't have to wait that long. <laughs> I was just kidding. This is a perfect royal bed. And I have a new hairstyle. <laughs> Ouch! Sue, don't pull my hair! It's two in one. Cute ponytails for Sammy and canopy for the bed. <laughs> a soft plushy pillow is a must for sleeping and hugging. La la la! <gasps> and the bathroom isn't ready yet? Sue, we have a crafting emergency! Easy, Sammy. It'll be the last room in the house we make. Washing hands is essential, so let's make a sink first. Here we go. Don't forget to decorate it to match the other furniture. Oh, this looks amazing! Can't wait to decorate the whole room! <laughs> I've been thinking, does Elsa like singing in the shower? What do you think, Sue? Hmm, if she does, she definitely sings Let It Go every morning. <laughs> Guys, do you like to sing along to Let It Go? Give a thumbs up if you do! <laughs> a comfortable toilet seat is as important as comfortable chairs! <laughs> Great wisdom, Sammy. Let's place it here and don't forget about the seat cover. Now it's done. And what do we have here? It's not a shield, not my headpiece. It's, uh... <laughs> so many ideas for just a bathtub. <laughs> now this looks more recognizable, right? There we go. And done. And here you can place some shampoo bottles or aroma candles to relax. Whoa, that's such a great idea. Uh, can I bathe here too? 
you should ask Elsa first, but I don't think she'll mind. I brought my favorite shampoo and shower gels. Their smell is the best. <laughs> so let's put them in a perfect order. One here. Oh, and this is another bottle. Hmm, they're so pretty. And a toothbrush, of course. <laughs> and now I'll give you a home tour. Follow me, guys. Sammy, now let's try to call the mysterious spirit again. I'm on it, and I brought some props too. <laughs> You've called Elsa herself! Welcome, your majesty! I have so many questions for you! One thing we know for sure, she loves her new house! Guys, give a thumbs up if you want to see more Frozen-related videos! And subscribe to our channel! See you soon! Bye! Bye. It's so cold! No one was expecting that snowstorm! I'm sure I saw a polar bear! Have some cocoa! It'll warm you up! I wish I had time! I have so much homework to do! Oh no! My homework is covered with snow! <laughs> uh, this might take a while to defrost! I'll go get the hairdryer! I really need those pens! Not so fast, Sammy! I have an idea! And it's really cool! Let's go! A cool idea? Then I'm in! We're going to make a desk organizer to help you with your homework, Sammy. Here I've marked out the folding lines to keep working with the cardboard. Whoa! It looks pretty good! Can't wait to see the result! Then I'll keep going! Great job! Now we need to make some cuts. And I'm speeding up. Could you grab a glue, Sammy? Thank you! That's why we make a great team! It's like we can finish each other's... Sandwiches! Wait, that's not what you meant, is it? <laughs> no, and anyway, where's my sandwich? Fine! You can make it later. We need to fold these pieces of cardboard. It's actually really easy! Look! Hey, this is like an accordion! Yeah, I suppose it is. Ah, Paris. I miss it so much. The Sen... The Eiffel Tower, uh. Don't forget the pastries, Sam. They're yummy. Croissants and all that, you know. <sighs> this talk is making me hungry. I need to focus. I've got more cardboard, Sue. Watch out! Just like I planned. Everything was under control, but I have no idea how you did that. Although I'm not complaining. Now we need to close it over. I got it! Whoa! It's fighting back, Sue! Hey! You did it, Sammy! Nice work! I'm just happy I could help. What's next? We'll need drawers to store your ribbons and string in. I have no idea what you're talking about! I have a unique filing system in place! <laughs> Are you completely sure about that, Sammy? Hmm, now that you've mentioned it, it might be a little outdated. Well, this thing I'm working on will solve everything. We need to cut this cardboard out and then we can start assembling it. All done. Sam the Builder is here to help! Alrighty, let's see. <laughs> Why, thank you. This is great. I suppose it was a tough one. How much do I owe you, Mr. Builder? We need a few more of these. I'm way ahead of you, Sue. Take your cardboard box 
boxes. And they're all just for a hug today. Wow, Sam, that saved us so much time. Builder Sam, no job is too big or too small for us. Call now for a free cardboard, I mean quote. Wow, that sounded like an interesting offer. I didn't know that you're doing advertisements now. Well, yeah, to start a business, you have to get your name out there. And another part of the organizer is complete. I really like how it came out. Aren't you forgetting something? You still have to pay. I'll happily hug you, Sammy. <laughs> Ugh, I've got so much homework to do. Bleh, where do I start? Okay, you can do this, Sam. Concentrate. Are you okay, Sammy? I'm not going to lie, Sue. I've been better. Ouch, thanks. Let's make something to store all these notes. I think that's probably a good idea. Oh, I'm feeling like I just waxed off my eyebrows. <laughs> well, looking good isn't easy, Sammy. Hmm, can you cut a hole in the top of this piece? And I will make more boxes. Of course, Sue. Anything's better than dealing with homework. <laughs> All done! Nice try, Sammy. You still need to do your homework. Let's see if it works. Huh, it's the perfect fit. Now we need to glue these all together. Be careful and don't glue your fingers to the boxes. Whoa, it's like a Jenga tower. Let's play. Not just yet, Sammy. We're kind of busy here, remember? And it's not a board game. It's for your sticky notes. I think it looks great. What are you doing? Sorry, Sue. I've got too many stationery. Don't know where to put it. I think I can help with that. We just need something to hold them together. And this shiny buddy will help us. Now let's fold it carefully, like this. Hey, that's strange. I was following your lead, but I still made something different. Now we need to make some more boxes. Here we go. I think that's enough. Yay! Now I can put my markers inside. Here, give it a try. There you go. And here's one more. Sue, can you maybe do my homework for me? No way. I'm not falling for that again. Oh. Ugh, how can one little pink slime have so much homework? Uh-oh. <laughs> Save me, Sue. Sammy, are you okay? Uh, I thought I was a goner. Thanks, Sue. We need to make something to keep all your paperwork neat. And I know just what to do. Voila! I knew it could count on you, Sue. We need to fold this in half. Just like a pizza box. I wish there was pizza in there. We need some glue, Sammy. Can you do the honors? Well, of course. I'm always here to help. You're like a gluing machine. You never let me down. And I love working with you together. I don't think that will hold all of my paperwork. You're right. We need a few more. Also, let's make them more sturdy. This cardboard should do the job. We'll have to put a piece inside the wallet. I can do this. This needs a delicate slime touch. mine. Well done. I couldn't have done it better myself. And this is the last piece. We've got everything we need for the organizer. Yay! Now we just have to put it all together. Ready to do this, Sammy? It's going to be so much fun. Just like playing with puzzles. I love jigsaw puzzles, Susan, and you know it. So I'm in. Let's do this. I think you'll like this one. Look. What would I do without you, Sue? You're always there for me. Here we go. Great. This will definitely help you with your schoolwork. 
and this piece needs to go into the paper wallet. Now, we need a fastener. Hmm, where's the Velcro? Velcro? I haven't seen any Velcro. <laughs> oh, Sammy! I want to add some practical decor. And something for the marker holder, too. There we go. Wow! It's just what I need, Sue. I'm glad, but it's not finished yet. But what else is there to do? Well, the cold weather sort of inspired me, you know? Whoa! You know that Elsa's my favorite snow princess! I knew you would like it. Now check this out, no more messy ribbons! These are my favorite stickers. Could you put them inside too? With pleasure. Oh, Sammy, this organizer is to keep things tidy. One last thing. And that's it. Sam's snow-themed organizer is complete. homework time. Ah, I knew you were going to say that! Let's get this over with! So warm and cozy. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Sue. Another school day awaits. <laughs> Sammy, you can't go out in that weather. You'll freeze. Oh, sweet Susan. It's okay. The cold won't bother me. What? What do you mean? I've got my Elsa organizer with me, so let it snow. <laughs> oh, right. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. What is that? Unwrap me. Is it a surprise? Huh? Oh my! <laughs> is it a baby slime or what? <laughs> Hi, I'm baby slime. Take care of me. I'm very gluttonous and mischievous. Instructions. Praise, love, and adore. <laughs> no way. A grown-up Sam's enough. So it's me! <laughs> Aha! Gotcha! You revealed yourself pretty quickly. Huh? You really don't need a mini slime? Your card was very articulate. I'm afraid this baby slime would ruin the whole house. <laughs> now it would be the most mischievous baby in the world. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Huh? I can't think of anybody else. Uh, really? Not a clue, huh? I have absolutely no idea. Then come, I'll introduce you. We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas! We Christmas uh -huh. this time of year? Ridiculous! I hate Christmas! Sue, you're such a Grinch! Christmas is the best holiday ever! But someone won't agree with you on this matter! Ah, guys! This is a real Grinch! Say a Christmas! <laughs> Today we're gonna transform a doll uh -huh, into a baby Grinch! Ho ho! Baby Grinch doesn't look that grumpy! We can still save Christmas! First, we'll remove all the doll's hair. The Grinch has a marvelous hairstyle. We'll make it from scratch. Here's the first log. <laughs> I need to get changed. Be right back. Wow, now it looks so bold. <laughs> Grinch would have loved it. <laughs> Let's take a souvenir photo. Uh-huh. And there. <laughs> It's good that you don't play with this doll anymore, Sue. <laughs> yeah, let's give the toy a new life. I took smaller scissors to remove the eyelashes. This face is gonna be a blank canvas for Baby Grinch's features. Oh, I'm so happy 
happy we're making this craft today. I'm a Grinch fan. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'd be a great mischievous couple. Now, let's sculpt a face for the doll. We'll use model and paste. Faster, Sue, or it will solidify. Sam's right. This face loses plasticity in the open air pretty fast, guys. Sam, I need your advice. How would you describe the Grinch's look? Ah, uh, well, he has a cat-like wrinkled face, a snub nose, and lots of fur. <laughs> oh, what a detailed description. <laughs> we'll think about the fur later, and now let's focus on his eyes. I don't want to rock for Christmas. There's just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents. Wait, I do care about presents. The more the better. <laughs> and what was your singing all about, hmm? We should teach Baby Grinch to love Christmas. He'll feel the Christmas spirit, I promise! Right. What do you think about these green irises? Mm, better take the yellow ones. Huh, oh, you're right. Yellow looks much better. Let's use them. Glue the eyes here. Yeah, they fit perfectly. Aw, he's such a cutie. Why did the Hoos make fun of him anyway? Hmm. Even though the Who's love Christmas as I do, they can be cruel sometimes. Yeah, so we'll try to fix that. Our baby Grinch will be loved and pampered so much. <laughs> I got a present for him! Can't wait to get it! Oh, you can show us, Sammy. We won't tell him a word. <laughs> no, no, Grinch should be the first. Let's hide it somewhere in secret. <laughs> Sammy loves the Grinch so much that he's willing to make Christmas for him in the middle of the year. <laughs> Guys, if you like Grinch too, give this video a thumbs up. I love the Grinch! Let's make his heart twice as big! And these are the famous cat-like pictures of the Grinch. Hmm, now he reminds me a bit of our Fluffy. <laughs> and here's the snub nose Sam was talking about. Aw, adorable. What do you think? <laughs> Sammy, you're already cute as you are. Just be yourself. Oh, thanks, Sue. We should tell that to Baby Grinch more often. I absolutely agree. By the way, we almost finished modeling his face. At least we don't need to make his belly. The doll already has one. <laughs> Sammy, it seems like you can't wait to babysit him. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'll be a great nanny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt that. Guys, do you remember the original doll's face? Can you imagine that this was just an ordinary baby doll? It's time to start coloring, Sue! The green should be green! It's avocado green. <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> And in the original book, Grinch was black and white. His iconic green look was created by Chuck Jones, the director of the animated series. While the Grinch's first book appearance was in 1957! So many generations of kids know him! Okay, now it's gonna get a bit messy here, so we've covered the table to protect it from the paint. Aw, let's protect your cute eyes from paint too, yeah? And it's done. <laughs> I am the Grinch, Cindy Lou Who. I live in Who. Bill, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like love. I don't like fun. When I'm around, Christmas is done. <laughs> <gasps> you didn't hear that, baby Grinch? Sue, you are teaching him bad stuff. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> that sound is just so catchy. Ah, the doll is starting to look more like Grinch. Ah, but his bald head is still weird. Don't worry, we'll deal with the hair very soon. Oh. <gasps> Check out this gorgeous color! <laughs> Turn around, mister! Let's color the back of your head, too! Aha! It's time to make a video for my blog! Hey! Where's Baby Grinch? Here we are, Sammy! <laughs> Sorry, we just finished the base coloring. It's the main color, but the face still looks kind of flat. So, what are you gonna do about that? We'll add some shadows to define the facial features. Whoosh! <laughs> That's the second step of coloring. You should do it only when the base dries properly. All right, let's start from the eye bags. Use a brush to paint right inside the creases. This way. This reminds me of that transformation to Baby Yoda we made last year! Hey, you're right! 
Guys, you can check that video on our channel. It's pretty awesome. But for now, stay tuned. The result will be mind-blowing! <laughs> Guys, we're almost done with the contouring. Let's push harder. <laughs> what do you think? Will Grinch like his look? Well, if he doesn't, he will destroy the house. <laughs> Grinches are really strong. <gasps> then I'd better not show him the mirror until we finish. <laughs> Aw, this cute little nose needs a few brush strokes too. Here and here. By the way, do you know where the Grinch made cameo appearances? It's a classic Christmas movie you should know about. It was in Home Alone, the first year part. Guys, do you like those movies? Grinch is always where the mischief is. Aw, now he looks even more grumpy. <laughs> <gasps> Shh! 